In keeping with my series of short videos on Tesla technology, I thought I'd take a little bit of time today and show you how the uh, Model X Falcon Wing doors actually work. So this is a CAD drawing and it's pulled from uh, Tesla's first responder uh, PDF document. You can find this on their website. This is given to uh, fire departments so that they know how to uh, deal with the Model X in the, in the event of a collision or an accident. What's important to note here on this, on this door is the red torsion springs that are in this document. And they provide uh, most of the lifting force to actually keep the door in the open position. What's also not shown in this 3D diagram is the uh, actuators on either side, and I, I have a clip of uh, showing this. And these actuators uh, provide a little bit of upward force to get the door moving, but the springs do most of the lifting on the door. Uh, the actuators that uh, are there are actually there to actually close the door because the springs can't, you know, reverse their direction. What's also important to note in this is the interesting mechanism for the Falcon Wing Door's second hinge mechanism located here. Uh, these are two electrically actuated lift gate actuators, similar to what you would find on lift gates on most cars these days. And they're arranged in a push-pull mechanism so that they can not only push the hinge uh, forward, but also pull it backwards as well. So after looking at the diagram, I thought, what better way to show this in action than to build a simple Lego model. Yay for Lego. Well, the way this works is that these two silver pieces here represent the uh, torsion springs that are built into the center section of the Model X and they absorb most of the weight of the door itself. And then we have two electrically actuated lift struts and when the door is unlocked the command is given for the door to open. Now there's two parts to this door. There's the main part of the door that opens from the hinge point on the center part of the uh, door and the second part is the uh, folding uh, second hinge and this is on the second part of the door. I'll explain that here in a second. So when the command is given for the door to open it just kind of lifts up like that and stays in this position. The second action of the door is while it opens at the top the second hinge right here in this point as per the diagram has two lift struts per side arranged in a push-pull mechanism and unfortunately this is linked properly but this is a rough approximation is that if I do this with both hands you'll see here that you know the second hinge kind of opens and closes like this so when the door is in the downwards or closed position the door is normally extended to this but when the command for the door is actually given to raise uh, these two lift struts actually fold the door in the downward position and because of the sensors in the door, the second hinge is actuated independently of the first hinge, and this is what uh, comprises the obstacle avoidance of the door. So once again, if this is in the closed position, the door is normally extended in this position. So as it closes, it folds inwards, and once in the upper position, the command for the door is given to lift up like that. So that's why you see a lot of the videos online. I'll put a clip up where you see the, the door lifting up. So I hope this goes to explain uh, some of the uh, features of the Model X door and how it actually works.